What's going on guys, Andrew Pillock Hockey here back with another video and this is a video that I've wanted to make for a really long time and you guys have heard my thoughts about it uh, before and it's funny now that this is a topic that's being brought up because it's something that I said in a video a long time ago and I really wish I would have made a video about it before but it's talking about Haley Wickenheiser and the fact that Hockey Canada should be retiring her number internationally. And a lot of people are bringing up that the number 22 should be retired with Canadian women's hockey. Um, I'd like to take that another step further, and I, and I really do believe that it should be retired among men's players as well. I think that Haley Wickenheiser doesn't get enough credit. People just look at her statistics and, you know, they obviously talk a little bit about the impact, but I don't think that they really understand the impact that Haley Wickenheiser has had on not just, you know, females playing the game, but males as well. I grew up you know, watching anything that I could when it came to hockey. It was, you know, VHS, I know VHS is right, DVDs, everything. It didn't matter. I watched everything. And constantly I was trying to flip through the channels to find hockey stuff or whatever. And when I was introduced to Haley Wickenheiser at a young age, I was a goaltender and I was still amazed and inspired by the way that she played the game and the way that she carried herself. The definition of a captain and the way to lead a team is the way that Haley Wickenheiser played the game and led Team Canada to gold medals. We're talking about one of the most iconic Canadian sports um, personalities in, and, or athletes in the history um, of, of Canada, literally. Like, she is so good. Now, here's the thing. Wayne Gretzky, of course, 99, is retired in all of the NHL. Makes a ton of sense. But like a lot of people have been saying lately, if Haley Wickenheiser is the Wayne Gretzky of women's hockey, um, I would go uh, just to say there's no other Haley Wickenheiser. It doesn't have to just be O of women's hockey. Haley Wickenheiser literally broke barriers for a lot of people, and she also, you know, led a, a path for all new hockey players female and male, it doesn't matter. I was inspired. Lots of other males around around the world, not just Canada, were inspired by Haley Wickenheiser. She's an absolute icon, she's a legend, and I, I don't see how anybody could argue against retiring her number. I seen an argument talking about, oh well, you know, she would love to see, she might wanna see other players and other, you know, young girls grow up wearing the number 22, but you know, since she's left the game, nobody's worn number 22. There's been players that have played for Team Canada before where it's like, oh, you just don't touch that number because it's their number. You, you don't want to mess around with that. So if there's players already doing that and respecting the number, why don't you just do it for all time? Look at Let's look at some of her numbers, okay? Uh, Wickenheiser, Canada's all-time leader in games played with 276 games. She had 168 goals, 211 assists for 379 points. And I'm so glad that I got, a, I got to watch a lot of those points, whether it was live on TV or highlight packages or anything that I could, you know, watch. Because we're talking literally, like I said, about one of the, the most fascinating players in hockey history, in my opinion. But I don't think that anybody should disagree with that. And the, the, her intensity, we all know uh, after the the whole incident of the the flag stepping on the flag which a lot of people say didn't happen but we never know it, it could have happened but Haley Wickenheiser you know she had that iconic interview putting the team on her back saying you know it, they were stepping on our flag now I want to know if they if they want me to sign it like we're talking about one of the most intense players regardless of if that was true or not and somebody that just put up a ridiculous amount of points. She she had a, a vicious shot. She could score from anywhere. She was good at, you know, dishing out the puck. And like I said, leadership abilities just out the roof. One of the best to ever do it. This is Haley Wickenheiser. She's a winner. It is literally no secret that Haley Wickenheiser was just golden. Literally golden. Four-time Olympic gold medalist. Seven-time world champion and multiple time MVP of those Olympic tournaments, by the way. She literally did everything with class, with poise, with, with skill, with talent, and she literally paved the way for, like I said, young girls, young men all over the world to pick up a hockey stick and try to play the game at the most elite level. And let's also talk about the fact that she played in a men's league in Finland and she held her own there too. She also did a development camp with the Philadelphia Flyers. Like we're literally talking about a groundbreaking, amazing player. Now, if Haley Wickenheiser ever got a chance to watch this, because um, I hope that I hope that she would. Um, she's liked a couple of my tweets, which thank you very much, Haley. But um, 
that's besides the point. Haley Wickenheiser, you deserve everything, all the praise that you're getting. And I really, really hope that you do get to see this because I just want to say thank you. But I really also do believe that your number should be retired by Hockey Canada. They, like we're talking about one of the goats of hockey. I don't, I'm don't. i sick of saying one of the best or the best female player. We're talking about just one of the goats of hockey, one of the best stories out there. And she really does deserve it. It's, it's time that we do something like this. It's time that the message gets out there. Haley Wickenheiser, one of the goats of hockey, should have her number retired internationally uh, in, in women's and men's for, for all of Canada, of course. All of, all, of Canada's, all of Canada's teams, men's and women, should have the number two retired. It's time. Just do it. Hockey Canada, please just do it. It, it makes too much sense. And uh, I, you know, I have so much love and respect for Haley Wickenheiser. So again, if she ever watches this, thank you as a fan. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.